This next loft visit is a nice change because it's local. This is John and Darren May at Worcester Park 1995 SNT Combine winners. Congratulations on winning the Combine this, this year John. Yeah, well this is the pigeon, this is um, a Van Loomcock, what was uh, first SMT combine in 95, um, beating 7,000 pigeons. Um, he's been a very good pigeon yeah. and um, we've gone very lightly with him this year. Is he a natural or widowed? No, he's, he was on widowed when he won the SMT combine. Yeah. Um, we've not pushed him, you know, after the combine we give him a few inland races, but as I say, we've not took him too far this year. But next year we'll um, take him a little bit further. So your combine well, winner's a Van Loom pigeon then, John? Yeah, he's bred directly out the uh, Van Loom stock, which I purchased from Louis Van Loom himself. Yeah. I bought a number of Van Loom pigeons, and he's direct from the stock. The half, the sister to him, a full sister, I gave to Mr and Mrs Carson last year, and that was second combine as well, at the same breeding pair. That's brilliant then, mate. And another, per another person, Mr and Mrs Goodsell, um, of the area. They had another blue cock from the same parents and I believe that's had two to three wins as well and up in the Federation. And another pigeon from the same pair was uh, denoted to the Millwall uh, this year for the uh, breeder buyer sale and that pigeon as well uh, I think was voted the overall best baby in the Millwall and I think it won approximately a thousand pound or over this year from the same parents. This is a scene inside one of the old bird sections. What system do you fly in, Darren? Is it woodwood or natural? Yeah, it's just mainly wood, wood, uh, woodwood. Um, we do sometimes have a bit of natural, just uh, when the channel races come up. Yeah. But most of them are just just woodwood. Yeah. Um, How many woodwood cocks have you got? There's 12 a section, um, yeah. and we generally have sort of about 40, 40 woodwood cocks. Yeah. And, um, do, and do they race through the card, or just just like short racing? No, most of them go through the card. Yeah. Uh, we have got a section just for long distance pigeons, but most of them are just a mixture yeah. with sprint, middle distance, and long distance pigeons. Yeah. Um, but most of them are raced right through the program. That's a nice checker cock, Darren. What's that one? Yeah, this is a uh, champion cheeky. He's uh, probably the best pigeon we've ever owned. He won 22 individual firsts. Uh, he won the Fed seven times. Um, he won about £7,000 in prize money. Um, and he won the last £2,000 opens that we had in this area. His 22 wins were gained in three years of racing. Uh, he raced mainly on Woodward, although he did win on natural and when he was on eggs, babies, any way that he just he won. He was just a phenomenal pigeon. He's a fantastic pigeon, this cheeky, isn't he, Darren? What family is he? He's uh, Morris Fahey. He was bred by Luella Lofts. Um, yeah, what's his lines, do you know? Yeah, he's from the Mona and Victor lines, and Black Tony. Yeah. He's, he's won 20, 22 first in three years. Incredible pigeon, mate. He. Is he now stock? Yeah, he's now stock. He's, uh, he's, he's, he's breeding winners, um, but it's mainly his children that breed winners. Yeah. They've bred... Uh, about three or four Fed winners from his lines. How long have you been in the sport then, John? I started up when I was about 10 years old and basically I've had pigeons all my life since. Yeah. And um, I've just carried on from there and just gone on and on and on. Yeah. What sort of racing do you like? Do you like long or short? Um, basically, I don't mind, but I, I prefer going into the possibly the middle distance to the long races. Yeah. That's what I seem to enjoy. Yeah. What, what systems do you fly? Um, we fly Woodward most of the time now. Basically Woodward, yeah. Yeah, nearly all the time now we fly Woodward. Yeah. Do you find that you score well on the distance with the Woodward pigeons? We have done, yeah. We, well, last um, last year we was first um, BIC, City Pepper on by six hours. I think we finished up, um, I think mean, it was about 350 odd international as well, about 18 and odd thousand pigeons. Yeah. And that was a Woodward pigeon, was it? That was a Woodward pigeon. Yeah, so it's, it's certainly uh, do all right with the Woodward pigeons. Yeah, we're doing quite well with them. Yeah. In recent seasons, you had some fantastic performances in the National, weren't you? Especially the Youngbird National. Yeah, we've been concentrating on the um, the Youngbird National. In yeah. 92, we were second open. Uh, we had a number of pigeons there, a further one, 25th as well. Um, we lost that because of um, a bad trap. Yeah. Um, uh, in 94, we were sec second open again. We had a number of pigeons in the first 100. Um, again, we lost it, I believe, because we the pigeon sat on top and cleaned itself. Yeah. And this year, um, we've ended up seventh open. 
and we had six pigeons on top of each other. Um, we got six pigeons in the first 32, and I believe it possibly could be a record having six yeah. in the first 32 at a national flying club. Flying I've never, yeah, so I've never that before, John. That's fantastic. Yeah, well, it's flying against 10,000, 10, 11,000 pigeons each yeah, time. Quite. So I think it's quite a good achievement. Yeah. Darren, what sort of racing do you like? Do you like young bird or old bird? Uh, I prefer the young bird. Yeah. Uh, we do try hard for the young bird. Yeah. Um, we train nearly every day, so my goal is really the young bird national. I do yeah. enjoy the young bird national. So, so you've had some bad luck in recent seasons there, mate. Yeah, well, that's, that's pigeon racing. It's on the clock that counts, but we've got to try again next year now. Right, this is our um, dark checker in. This pigeon was second open to Marlow at the young bird national flying against nearly 11,000 pigeons. Um, this was trained specially for the race at Marlow. Um, this one, the uh, car, presented by the racing pigeon as well. And um, this is bred down from the direct Van Loon pigeons. And most of my young bird pigeons as well, I only have the one race. I only put them in one race. And that is this St Marlow Young Bird National. So this pigeon has only had one race in its life, and yeah. that's when it was second opened against 11,000 pigeons. Second open. How about training? Where do you train your own birds from then, John? The training, we train very hard. We yeah. start off early with small tosses, and then we gradually get them along the coast, and we literally get them all the way along the coast, from down from Brighton, Worthing, Bogner, Alien Island. We go all the way along the coast constantly, if we can, every single day. And then into the weather national. permitting, and, and that's what we do. Yeah, straight into the national. And straight into the national. This is a scene inside Darren's and John's young bird section. How many young birds do you breed each year, Darren? We usually breed about 110. Yeah. Um, we generally train 60 babies from the start for the Young Bird National. Yeah. This is the section that the babies race from for the Young Bird National. Yeah. And they're solely, the 60 that come in here are solely for the National. The rest of the young ones are flown from another section for solely for the club. Yeah. Um, how far do you like young birds to go inland? Do they go right through the card? Yeah, the young birds that race in the club, they go right through the card. They mm. start at the first race. Obviously, the ones that are left go to the last and longest race. Yeah, it's a good system, mate. It's certainly worked for you, is it, in recent seasons? Well, you know, we haven't done too bad in the national no, I mean, and in the club. Putting pigeons aside solely for the national. Yeah, that's it, right. It, it's, got, it's got a payoff, hasn't it? Well, it works for us, so... Uh, you know, we, we stick them, them pigeons beside, we usually start with 60. Yeah. The times we come to the National, we've, we've generally got 45 to 50 left, and that's, and that's after sort of, you know, 30, 40 tosses along the coast. Yeah. I notice you've got slatted fl floors in the loft. Is this throughout? Yeah, this through every section. Yeah. Um, it just generally saves down on cleaning out. Um, obviously, with the like, hectic training schedule we have, we don't get a lot of time to clean out for the floors, so we've, we've gone to floor grills just to save a bit of time. Right, these uh, are another two of our fed winners this year. As you know, the first one was first fed, first combine from Wrens. Yeah. Um, this pigeon here was young bird. He was first fed from Weymouth, flying against only 3,000 pigeons. Yeah. And that cock there is um, another fed winner, which was first fed from Onnington with about another 3,000 pigeons. So in fact you won the Surrey fed three times this year? Three times you? this year we've won the Surrey fed. Yeah, and you won the combine from Wrens. And won the combine from Wrens this year. Yeah. That's a nice pigeon at Darren's on him. What's that pigeon, Darren? Yeah, this is the grandson of Cheeky. Yeah. Um, he's won the Fed this year from Honiton. He's also been third Fed and he's won four firsts himself. Yeah. Um, he's still only a young pigeon, so we've still got high hopes for him. Yeah. Let's hope he turns out something like Cheeky. He's a lovely cock, isn't he? In yeah, fact, he's a beautiful cock. He looks like a bit like the old cock, doesn't he? That's right, yeah, yeah. Right, John, I'd like to ask you a few questions about your widowhood now. How many cocks have you got? We normally start off with about 24 cocks, it's in two sections. Yeah. When do you pair them up? We pair them up normally around about the first week in January, yeah. do they depending on the weather. Do they all rear a youngster? Yeah, we allow them all to rear a youngster, even if we have to plant some eggs here and there. Yeah. How about training them? Training, we normally start, if we can, once we've got the, uh, the young ones away, we take the ends away after they've been sitting about 10 days with their second round and then hopefully like we can start the uh, wheel training then and yeah. it's normally about two to three weeks before the first races yeah. do you just train them before racing and then fly them around the loft we train them right up to the first race yeah. and then once we've trained to the first race we possibly give them a, a toss every wednesday yeah what throughout the season throughout the season we try to give them one a week yeah how about exercise around the loft exercise what we normally do is like normal people really i think most of them do it we just shut the doors up 
Yeah. And we leave them shut for an hour in the morning, an hour in the evening. Yeah. Do you show the hens on a Friday night? We do. We What we do, we leave the bowls in the nest boxes. All we do is turn the bowl over, we put the ends in there. Um, after that we've let the cocks out. Then once all the ends are in their boxes, we allow the cocks to come back into the shed. Yeah. Um, and then we go round and we show each cock to its end. Yeah. Once the end's gone into the bowl, we allow the cock to tread the goat, you know, go on top of the, the end. Once he's on top of the end, then we whip him out and he goes in the race pan yeah. basket. How about on Saturday? How long do they get their hens for on a Saturday when they come um, out? That can vary on the type of race that they've had. But yeah. normally it's between an hour, hour and a half. We leave the ends in with the cocks. Yeah. What do you feed them? We feed possibly a breakdown when they own on the Saturday. And after that, what we've been doing, we change their method, we've been building up all the time. Yeah. And uh, we, we, the widow of cocks get basically what they want each yeah. day. How about for the distance races? Do you increase the. We um, increase the maze. Yeah. You put normally about 50% maze in. Yeah. So. For the distance. How about the, um, the natural pigeons in, Darren? Yeah. Do you fly well on two natural? Yeah, just mainly with our sort of pole pigeons. Um, the game there is much the same. Um, they have quite a few peanuts coming up to the big races. Uh, yeah. And they're trained every day from the coast. Yeah. Um, what we usually do is take the, the cocks or the ends in the morning and we, we ro rotate it, cocks and ends. Um, and they're much the same as the woodwood cocks really, we let them out together, try and keep them out all day. Yeah. Um, uh, that's basically for Poe? That's basically for Poe, yeah. They, they got, we got one team solely just for Poe. This is the main racing loft, and it's certainly magnificent. Darren, how big is it? It's 50 foot long and about 10 foot deep. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's with a corridor. Um, it's a petron loft. Yeah. Um, it's got seven sections. We got what's that? Two for young birds. Yeah, we got we got two for young birds, uh, two for woodcocks, and one for our um, natural pigeons. Yeah. And you trap through open doors, do you? Yeah, the woodcocks are trapped for open doors, and the young birds are with the Sputnik traps. Yeah, and that's into the corridor. That's right. Yeah, but, uh, apart from the end section, which is for our um, national team, th yeah. then they they straight into the section. They're the stall traps we got there. Um, we find it easier just rather than chase the pigeons around the shed. Yeah. This is your stop loft then, Darren. How many sections is that? Yeah, there's three sections there and three individual aviaries for each section. Yeah. How many stock pairs do you keep? About 45 pair. Yeah, they certainly look comfortable in there, don't they? Yeah, it's not a bad little shed. They breed a nice baby in there. Yeah. When do you pair them up? We pair them up usually Boxing Day. Obviously, it depends on the weather. Yeah. And we breed right the way through to about August. Yeah. Do you use a deep bit or anything on the floor? No, they're cleaned out every day. Um, just try and keep them nice and clean and comfortable. Yeah. And uh, it, it certainly breeds a nice baby in there. Yeah, then, then I think the Maybries definitely make a difference to the stock birds, don't they? Because they've got to get out in the fresh air, have a bath and see the sunshine and everything there, can't they? Yeah, that's it. We try and give them a bath every couple of days, obviously, and uh, you know, give them the best food and water and you know, they produce the best babies. This is the sea inside the stock loft, and this section contains all the direct Louis Van Loon pigeons. They certainly look well. Oh. They're the main two pigeons in, in the national this year, John. What's that checker cock you got? Well, this check, checker cock, his positions this year was from Nance, he was 315th. Uh, from Poe, he was 100. 18th and from Saints he was 500th and I, th I think he was possibly the only pigeon in the National Flying Club this year we timed in all three races in the result so mm -hmm. he's been a you know he's a good pigeon That's this year. incredible. What family is he in John? He's um, from the Peter Van Eyden uh, distance family we've got a small team of. Yeah it's beautiful cock isn't he? Beautiful pigeon. What's that one you got in Darren? Yeah this is our 7th open St Merce uh, Sartilli this year. Yeah. Um, she only had one race and then straight into the Sartilli and she got a seventh open. Yeah. Um, she's of a Louis Van Loon, of our directs, and she's a lovely in. And, uh, I, I tell them, them Van Loon pigeons have well. been good to you, haven't they? Yeah, she's done really, really well. All the Van Loons, you know, we just can't go wrong with them. Yeah, brilliant pigeon. Well, thanks very much for having me around today, lads. It's been a real pleasure. Yeah, thanks for coming, Kurt. Thanks a lot.